At the end of almost every MBA interview, the interviewer will ask, do you have any questions for me? It's a moment that many worry about, but with a little preparation, you should be able to breeze right through it. Hi, I'm Jeremy Scheinwald, and as the founder of MBA Mission, I've prepared thousands of applicants for their MBA interviews. In this video, I'll review the types of questions you should ask your interviewer and what you should avoid as well. I'll also give a few specific examples of questions to ask, so be sure to stay until the end of this video. Let's clear the deck and start by talking about what you might not want to ask about. And these are things you should not ask regardless of who's interviewing you, a member of the admissions committee, a student, or an alum. As a quick aside, if you're wondering whether it matters who you interview with and where, check out this video. Anyway, the questions not to ask are the real basics. You're at an advanced stage in your application process at this point, so you can't ask basic questions like, what courses do you offer students interested in real estate? Or what are some of the big social events on campus? They expect more from you at this point. If you're applying to study real estate, you should know about their real estate program. Also, don't ask questions about your chances in the application process or about how you did in the interview itself. Quite simply, as you prepare your questions, ask yourself, if the tables were turned, would you want to be asked your questions? So, what types of questions would be appropriate? Ones that reveal that you've really done your homework and know the school you're interviewing with. These are what we call second level questions or next level questions. They're questions that show that you're not just asking a basic question, but have done enough homework to ask an informed question. So we would suggest that you read up on news around your target program, read their press releases, speak to students to understand what students and alums are talking about. Hypothetically, if you're interviewing at the Yale School of Management right now, with either a student or an ADCOM member, you could ask a question like this that shows that you've been digging in. Dean Charles has been in his position for three years. How do you think he's left his imprint on the school? For a student, a similar question might be, I've always been told that Yale is a tight-knit community. I'm curious if the Dean is an available member of that community. What have your interactions with him been like? Now, let's say that Yale offered alumni interviews. They don't, but let's say they did for purposes of this example. Maybe you'd ask that alum, Dean Snyder was so universally beloved. Have you had any interaction with Dean Charles as an alum? Have you felt him engage in the alumni community? This is a very specific line of questioning, of course, about the school's dean. You definitely don't have to ask about the school's dean. Our point is more about asking a question that's not necessarily on the surface, one that shows that you've been really thinking about the experience that you want to have at the school. Another line of questioning, depending on your situation, of course, might be one about employment. You might ask a student, we're in a volatile time economically right now. How did you and your peers do in recruiting last summer? Or you might easily amend that version for the adcom. We're in a volatile time economically right now. How did summer students do in recruiting? With an alum, you might change it up a little bit. I'm curious if you've ever had to activate your network for a job hunt or help others with theirs. How did the network respond? These questions are not that deep, but they're certainly deeper than the most basic type of question, what kind of jobs are available to summer interns? Of course, you can read the school's employment report. That information is quite handy to you. Our example is just a little more nuanced. One more key is to really listen. Don't just have your next question ready, but really listen to your interviewer's response and be prepared to follow up. Wow, I'm impressed by your interactions with the dean. You also mentioned that professors are a part, an important part of the community. Tell me more about that. How have you engaged with them outside the classroom? The bottom line here is that you only have time for two or three questions. So if you just prepare two or three and listen carefully, you can have an informative conversation where your interviewer comes away knowing that you have that next level interest. A word of caution as we wrap. Our questions are again just here as examples. The number of questions truly are infinite. Really think carefully about what you're asking because it makes a statement about you and your maturity as an applicant. We don't want to give you a type, but we want you to think next level and then listen to follow up. If you do that, you're definitely on the right track. If you need help preparing for your interviews, please download MBA Missions Interview Guide linked in the description below. And you can also check out our school-specific interview guides, which 
include more information about the types of interviews you can expect, your target schools, sample interview sequences, and more. Sign up for a general mock interview, a Wharton team-based discussion simulation, or an HBS intensive interview session with our HBS interview in residence, Devi Valbanani. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, if you like this video, please be sure to officially like it via the button below and to subscribe to our channel for even more MBA interview tips and lots of other admissions and application advice. Good luck with your MBA applications and interviews.